Hey guys, it's Amalia and Chava. And today we decided to, we wanted to start a new segment on our channel where we take you to some unique spots throughout Israel. Here we are today at Gazelle Valley or Imakat Tzvaim. It's beautiful and we can't wait to show it to you. Enjoy! So first things first, we're gonna try to get a map and Amalia knows where they are, so she's yep. gonna show us the way. So I forgot my mask, so Amalia is going to go in and get the map. Um, there she comes. We got a yes. map. This seems to be the... Where's the key? Like, what is this path? What is this? Who wants to read it out loud? Supply border to Jerusalem has always been a challenging and complicated affair, entailing a variety of solutions. Jerusalem, or whole one, was one of the first border holes in the city. We were almost deactivated in the 1980s due to chemical contaminations that seeped in Nahal or Kebet from a local factory. So where is the port? That. That? Okay guys, now we have reached the big lake. So, just to give some context of the place we are standing, as we read before, over there we have the borehole of Yerushalayim, which is where we get our water supply from. All of those little lakes and stuff, they're all part of the larger water system of Yerushalayim, which is super fun. And I say water, 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 water. Where are we, Amalia? So we walked to this very scenic. Um, I would call this very mid-century modern design with like the wood planks and then transferring into the wood um, bathroom. Oh wow, so we were traversing the wild for hours and hours only to arrive upon the bathroom. The bathroom. But someone wrote oh, Shana Tova inside. A nice. gazelle sighting. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Are you enjoying yourself? Here we have some olive trees, as I like to call it, where kids take sticks and take olive off, off of trees. Did you say olive tree? Yes. Okay. Where they take sticks and take all olives off of trees, and then they put them in a bucket, and, and then they make oil. I I don't know what they do. Water? Is it sand? Can you practice water? saying sand? water like like water? No. Water. Water. It's both. Native to its native Israel. Exactly. Oh, look, Amalia. A gazelle. 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 No, no. A one-horned gazelle. 
down. Do you know it's fake, Amalia? <laughs> so, Amalia, what are your thoughts on the end? This is a gorgeous place. Kava saw a gazelle that you'll see in the video. I myself saw no gazelles. Um, unfortunate. <laughs> Sure. Unless I, the gazelle lover, did not. Why um, are you a gazelle lover? Because I saw that we could go to a gazelle valley today, and I was like, oh my gosh, there are going to be gazelles. What's a gazelle? And then I looked it up. Got it. And remembered <laughs> that I love gazelles. Okay. Well, they are really beautiful. And I feel like if we came um, in the, at the right time, we might be able to see it. I can't tell if that's an animal or if it's garbage. Oh my gosh, you that I think that's a gazelle. Yeah. As you were saying? Gazelle. Um, I wish I could see it move. But I am happy that at least I got the gazelle gazelling experience. The gazelle watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below which place in Israel you want us to see next. And maybe go up and look some fa cool facts about gazelles because they're pretty darn cool. And let us know what your favorite fact was.